man. You the man. Who told you that? You did. Damn stupid. And why is that? Cause I'm the real OG. You the king. And what about everybody else? They your peasants. Let's get it. Let's go. In Jesus name. Amen. Love you dog. Same time tomorrow? You already know it. All right. Dad, what you doing? First and foremost, what I do and when I do what I do is none of your business or concern. Let's get that straightened out right now. Secondly, if you must know, I just finished doing my daily affirmations. Daily affirmations? Hey, ain't that kind of weird? Like, is it with son? <laughs> Self-love is the best love. Ain't nobody gonna love me like me. So if me loving me makes me weird, then I guess I'm just gonna be a weird ass. Uh, okay, I, I guess that makes sense. Matter of fact, speaking of weird, what the hell you want? What you mean, speaking? Anyway, I got something I want to show you real quick. Like what? Come on, Dad, it's a surprise. Is it a surprise for me? I mean, not really, but... Well, then it ain't no damn surprise. Dad, can you just come see? What the heck? All right, okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. Thank you. Damn. Talk about a surprise. And it better not be no damn bug either. I don't want to see no damn cockroaches with wings. I don't want to see no damn spider, no beetle. It better not be no damn bug. And if it is, you better kill it. You know, I don't mess with no damn- Hey, it's not no bug. Can you just come here? All right. Don't play with me. I'll burn this, burn this damn house down with both of us in it. And you know I will. What is it? Come on, Dad, have a seat. All right, Dad, so check this out, right? So, as of recently, I started rapping. Oh, hell no. We, we, wait, Dad, where you going? Son, don't take this the wrong way, okay? But when it comes to rapping, singing, dancing, humming hell, whistling, anything having to do with any kind of rhythm, you ass with a capital A. What? I'm talking about bad, terrible, absolutely atrocious. Matter of fact, for the first 10 years of your life, I thought the doctor gave me the wrong baby. I was about to sue the state. I say this damn baby got about as much rhythm as a bag of rocks. Ain't no way in hell this baby mine. Matter of fact, I knew damn well you wasn't mine because you came home clapping like this. I said, what the hell wrong with this damn baby? But, lo and behold, I did the DNA test and unfortunately, you, I mean, fortunately, you mine. So, you know, I, I might do it again though just to be sure because I still don't know. <laughs> Dad, for real, like, I really tried my hardest and I think it sounds pretty good. Can you just listen to it? <sighs> okay, okay, all right. I was trying to save you the embarrassment, but if you want me to hit a damn thing, I hit it. But listen here, you know me. You know I don't bite my tongue, and I ain't gonna tell you no damn lie. So if it's bad, I guarantee I'm gonna tell you it's bad. Okay, and what if it's good, though? Oh, I know it won't be. I can tell you 100%. I already know, nigga. I bet you everything in my bank account, plus both arms, that it's not gonna be good. Ain't no way in hell. I already know it. Well, damn. All right, come on. Let me hit it. All right, here we go. Hey, this your boy at D May. Oh, God. I've been puffing on that gas. You puffing oh, you know, the hell on that cash. cash. Huh? Huh? You've been puffing on what? Uh, first of all, when the hell did you start smoking? And secondly, who house have you been smoking? I tell you what, only thing gonna be smoking in this house is your ass after this belt done sliced it. No, 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 Dad, you got it wrong. I, I don't smoke or nothing. So what the hell is you talking about puffing on gas? Dad, that's just how people rap nowadays. It ain't gotta be true, it just gotta sound good. What the hell? Boy, have you lost your damn mind? See, this is wrong with your generation. This is why I don't listen to rap music now. Because all y'all do is lie about stuff that you ain't doing and trick these little kids into believing you're somebody that you're not. You mean to tell me you can't make a good rap song and tell the truth at the same time? No, not really. But Dad, listen, listen. That's just how rap is. Everybody do that. Well, don't you want to be a leader instead of a follower? It depends on how much they paying. All right, you know what? All I'm saying is, if you got to lie to make a good rap song, then you're not a good rapper. So can I finish the song? Or can you finish? Hurry up! Okay, cool. Damn. Damn, kids. Hey, this your boy at D-May. Oh, God. I've been puffing on that gas. Puffy. You know I got this cash. cash. I pull up in the stack. She said she want to smash Running up on me and I brr, 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 yeah. Get up out my face, huh I be flipping packs, huh flipping Smoking pack. on these drugs Whoa. Everybody thugs ah. I'm a rapper too, too. So give me a hug me a I will just can't spam I need your women to run it I understand I only hear them laugh like huh. Hard, ain't it? What you think? God damn it, I knew it. I knew it from the goddamn start. I'm about to sue your ass. 
ass. No, no, you listen to me. No, you listen. You open up your ears and listen to what I have to say on to you. I came in there and y'all gave me the wrong damn baby. Sir, sir, okay, sir, just listen to me for a second, okay? Damn it, I am listening. Speak if you gonna speak. Okay, are you sure this is the right hospital and when did you come in last? Yes, this is the right hospital, Mr. Smart Ass. I ain't slow, I remember. And when did I come in last? Uh, about, about, about 25 years ago. Hey, you mean get off my uh, hello? Hello? I know he just hang up there. What's the problem? What's the problem? <laughs> he wanna know what the problem is. <laughs> he wanna know what the problem is. I've been on this earth over 40 years, and never in my entire existence have I heard anything like you just played for me just now. You ain't never what? It's like that? That's what I'm talking about. So so on a scale of like one to ten, what you think? Like, probably like a nine. Negative everything! You don't deserve a number. What you mean? That was absolutely terrible. Not only is you lying about smoking, you talking about making money. What money? You just asked me for five dollars yesterday. Then you talking about you gonna shoot somebody. You're talking about run up on me, bang, bang, bang. I sprayed your ass with the water hose and you started crying. Who the hell is you finna shoot? You by the soft as a marshmallow. Oh, and then you really lost your mind talking about she wanna smash. Who the hell is she and where has she been? Cause I ain't seen her. The only relationship you got is the one you got with that damn lotion beside your bed. Hey, hey don't get mad at me as the kids say, I'm just keeping it a band. Somebody gotta say it. Talking about smoking on that gas. How you gonna smoke something you can't afford? What we'll think I'm some kind of damn fool? Wait, no. What the hell y'all looking at? I ain't being mean. Somebody gotta say it. He know I mean no harm. Ain't that right, Daryl? Ah, oh, he get over it. Stop all that damn crying. You might care about that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later. The hell are you crying for? Sir, do you know why I pulled you over? Well, absolutely, officer. I know exactly why you pulled me over. Officer, did you see how fast I was just going? Have I lost my damn mind? I ought to be ashamed of myself. Not only did I put my life in danger, but I endangered the lives of the people around me, didn't I? Mr. Officer, thank you for stopping me. Who knows what could have occurred? I could have hit a human. I could have hit a dog. I could have hit a damn wall. You know what, officer? I'm glad you was back there hiding in them bushes. Thanks to you, officer, I lived to speed another, I mean, drive another day. Hold that thought. <clears throat> Good morning to all of my live. Facebook viewers. Okay, I'm ready. I just wanted to make sure I captured this moment on video in case your ass try to get off. Cause I know how y'all do. So, let me get this straight. You ask me, do I know why you pulled me over? Hmm, let me think. Cause obviously I'm some kind of goddamn mind reader. Do I know why you pulled me over? Hell no, I don't know why you pulled me over. And goddamn it, if I had to guess, I would say probably cause you ain't got nothing better to do than to mess up my damn day. Matter of fact, since we asking questions, why the hell would you tucked up in them damn bushes like that? You just looking for trouble. Well damn it, let me tell you something. You got the right one today. So, what is it, Mr. Officer? How can I be of assistance to you today? You were going 80 and a 35. Do you want to explain to me why you was going so fast? Was I really going that fast? I didn't even realize. Officer, I am so sorry. I'm actually rushing to church. See, officer, being that I'm the deacon of the church, the pastor asked me to preach the word this morning. But I'm running late because I had to save a squirrel from choking. Then I had to drop off some canned goods at the food bank. Then I had to go buy some school clothes for some kids in need. Then I had to pull a man out of a burning car on the highway this morning. And you ain't gonna believe this. I found $10,000 this morning. And I donated it all to the police academy. But anyway, long story short, I gotta leave Bible study in about five minutes. So that's why I was driving so fast. First of all, Mr. Officer, you're being dramatic. I wasn't going 80 and a 35. I was going 79. God damn it, if you're going to accuse me, accuse me correctly. Secondly, the reason I was going kind of fast is because every second I'm late is more money taken out of my damn paycheck. And now, thanks to you, Mr. Officer, because you got me sitting here on the side of the road wasting more of my damn time, my money about to be looking real funny. Which means I won't be able to pay my bills on time, which also means I'm going to be behind for the rest of the month. So hear me clearly when I say this unto you. If I catch you outside that uniform, I'm going to fold your ass like a dish rag. You know what, I'm gonna need to see your license and registration. Well, absolutely, officer. That's no problem. As a matter of fact, I trust you 100%, but for safety purposes, as you can see, there's nothing in my hands. I'm just gonna slowly reach into the center console and grab my registration for you, okay? Here you go, sir. Now let me just grab my license for you out of my wallet. God damn it, I dropped it. Give me one second. Freeze. Just kidding. Here you go, sir. All right, all my live. Facebook viewers, just the moment you've been waiting for. The officer has just asked me to hand him my license and registration. Let me show you how to properly handle this situation.
Hell no! I ain't reaching for a damn thing. Do I look like boo-boo the fool to you? Hell no, I know how this go. I ain't reaching for a damn thing. But I tell you what, Mr. Officer, you want it so bad, you walk your ass right here, you come get it. Ain't finna be no accidents right here. Not today. Hell, you ain't finna shoot me and get away with it. Cause goddamn it, I shoot back. And I can guarantee to you, I don't miss. Oh, the hell on now, sir. I know that ain't no threat. Look here, goddamn it, Mr. Police Man. With all due respect, I don't make threats. I make promises. And I can promise you, you try me today, it ain't gonna go how you think it's gonna go. And as the kids say, I put that on guard. You can save your excuses, buddy. Either way, I'm gonna have to write you a ticket. Officer, you know what? I wouldn't let you not give me a ticket. Matter of fact, you know what? Charge me twice. I should know better. I've been driving over 40 years. There's no excuse for my behavior. You clocked me going 80 in the 35. I was flying like a bat out of hell. I could have really hurt myself or hurt somebody. You know what? Forget the ticket. Just put the cuffs on me. I deserve more than a ticket. Officer, just lock me up and throw away the key. I need to serve time to think about what I did. And I guarantee you, when I get out at 75, I'll be a better man. You gonna give me a ticket? Oh, you gonna give me a ticket, huh? So, what you telling me is, you gonna give me a ticket. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Officer. I don't give a damn. Do you know how many damn tickets I got that I still ain't paid? Book some, officer. Book some. You know what? Come on. Go give me a ticket so I can stack it with the rest of them. Go and give me a damn ticket for speeding. That's like give me a ticket for walking fast. You really must have nothing better to do. First you cut into my paycheck. Now you make me pay a five for speeding. Like I said, if I catch your ass out that uniform. Bam. <laughs> All right, Mr. Mays, I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle. Yes, sir, no problem. I can absolutely do that. No need to ask me twice. For what? What the hell do you need me to step out for? What kind of mess? Get out the car now! Who the hell is that? Look at I that. said get out now! <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. Yeah, come on. Shoot that. Shoot that. Shoot that. That's what I'm talking about. Should've picked a better team, boy. Don't shoot, don't shoot that. Yeah, come on. Take it. We in here. We in here. Oh. Front. Front of three. Did this did this man just... Yo! Let's go! Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping. I could've sworn I just heard this man fought just now. He would've at least acknowledged it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't... I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. He ain't just passed no gas like that. Come on now. Come on now. You gonna have to come harder than that. You feel me? Oh, what's that? What's that? Bro, come on. How you miss a... Oh. How you miss an open dunk like that? Bro, I know this man did not just fart and not say excuse me or nothing. I, I, I knew I wasn't tripping. I, I knew I wasn't tripping. Thank you, boo, little boy. P people just woo, man. Just woo. I, I tell you what. I tell you what. All right. I'm going to let it slide this time. I'm, this time, I'm going to let it slide. But next time, next time, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. And I put that on guard. Hey, hey, D, you better pay attention, bro. This finna be nasty right here. <laughs> oh, it's nasty, all right. <laughs> what you mean? Nothing? Nothing? Don't mean nothing. Alright. Alright, bet. All I'ma say is, don't do it again, bro. Don't do it again. That's nasty. That's nasty. What you ain't got no home training or something? Do I need to put you outside? Alright. Like I said, don't do it again. See what do it again, see what happened to you. Yeah. Come on with it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, D, I don't care how long you stare at me for, bro. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna stop you from catching these L's, bro. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, you right. <laughs> Boom! Yeah, yeah, in your, in your face. I know he didn't. Just... Oh hell no! See, this is what I be talking. All right. <laughs> oh my God! What is that? It smells like a damn barnyard. See, you know what I be talking. That's why I don't invite people over to the house. You know what? This man about to make me. Yo. Yo. Bro. I'm talking to you with the yellow hat. Is he talking? Bro, you see we in here trying to win a game, right? But we can't focus because that time we look up, you in here opening up your ass cheeks on the damn couch. And I wasn't gonna say nothing at first, but one, you ain't saying excuse me or nothing. And two, you gassed up the whole damn stadium. The whole stadium smelled like a bucket of chillings. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. You gonna have to go. You gotta go home, bro. You and me. What? <laughs> you can't kick me out. What you talking about? <laughs> he tripping, boy. What the hell you think you talking I'll tell you what. Get your ass. Yeah. Oh, hell no. I don't know who the hell you think you talking to. Stankin' ass. Stankin' up my jersey. Hey, how are you? And why the hell you ain't say nothing? Huh? 
Uh, Stop being a sissy. Exactly. That's what I be saying. Oh damn. Sorry, I'm in the wrong damn video. My bad. I need some tissue. Give my damn basketball. So you just gonna sit here in the funk? You ain't gonna go get no Febreze or nothing? Huh? I mean, it don't smell that bad. Oh, oh, it don't smell that bad. Oh, okay. Well, let me let me just go back to what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Don't care what you talking about. Talk about it don't smell that bad. I'm getting lightheaded just standing here. Hey man, how's it going? I was just calling to see if you guys were open. And if so, what are your hours for today? First and foremost, sir, I'm blessed as hell. Thanks for asking. Secondly, that's a great question. You're darn tootin', we're open. We're open every day, Monday through Sunday, just to make sure that you have everything you need to be a satisfied customer. I can guarantee you, we'll be here every day from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Matter of fact, just in case you can't make it on time, I'll stay here until midnight just for you. It's my duty to make sure as a value customer that you're taken care of. As a matter of fact, you got a way to get here? You need a ride? I can go get my keys right now. All right, I just want to make sure you have a great experience with us. I look forward to seeing you soon, buddy. You be blessed as hell. Are we open? No, I'm, I'm just here answering the phones for fun. Did you not just hear me answering the damn phone? What kind of question is that? I swear to God, bro, I just got here. Don't start that. You ain't doing nothing but wasting my damn time. You could have Googled that. And let me tell you something. I don't know what they hours are, but my hours are from 8 to 2, and my four of them going to be spent in the bathroom. On guard, bro, I ain't trying to do no work today, so don't even come up here, bro. You keep your ass at home till about 2 o'clock. Matter of fact, make it 2.30. I was late this morning, so I got to make that time up. But after that, I don't give a damn where you go, who you know, what you doing. All I know is, I'm going to be gone, headed home. So leave me alone and get the hell off this phone. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, sorry to bother you. Do you work here? Well, absolutely I work here. I wouldn't want to work anywhere else. This is the best job in the world. Just look at how happy I am. No need to apologize. You want to ask me a question? I love answering customer questions. That's what they pay me for. To serve you. Come on, give me some work to do. What do you need? Need me to take something to your car? Need me to walk you to the other side of the store to find something? Need me to <laughs> whip your children? Need me to bury your body? Whatever it is. The answer is yes, sir. No problem. I can do that for you. I mean, what do I work here? Why don't you keep asking me these stupid ass questions? You know what? No, no. I, I don't work here. I just bought this damn shirt off of Amazon. I stole me a name tag and came here to stack boxes for free. You stupid or something? What the hell it look like? Get away from me, bro. I ain't got time for this, man. I swear to God, don't even talk to me, bro. On guard, bro. I ain't answering no questions. I ain't going to get nothing from the back. I ain't helping you take nothing to your car. I got 30 minutes till I get off, bro. So real talk, on guard. If you ain't trying to get Will Smith slapped around here, I suggest you get out of my face. Would you mind checking to see if you have any more of these in the back? This was the last one on the floor. Bam! Oh my god! That is completely unacceptable. Of course I can check for you. I'll see to it personally that you get exactly what you're looking for. You wait right here. I'll be back. I can't believe this. Can't find it anywhere. God damn it, team, this is unacceptable. I cannot believe this at all. Where is the location? Ah! Oh my god! We're completely sold out. What am I gonna tell the customer? <laughs> there has to be another way. <laughs> I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. I'm so sorry, sir. Unfortunately, we seem to be completely sold out. But I tell you what, don't you worry your little head. There's a store only four hours away that has some available. So I tell you what, you get comfortable, take a load off, I'll take care of everything for you. Okay? Hell yes, I'm mine. God damn it, if it ain't on the floor, we ain't got it. Let me get this straight. You want me to stop what I'm doing, go all the way to the back room to find something for your ass. And that's the crazy part. I ain't getting no extra money for it. You lost your damn mind. I get off in 30 minutes, bro. As far as I'm concerned, you can take that drink and you can shove it up. Hey, Juwan, come up here and jump on this register for me. Let me see if I can find it for you. I can't hop on the register right now. I'm with a customer. I'm going to go check for you. Crazy, yeah, hey, 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 bro, when I said Kiosa came in in some tights, bro, she came in in some tights, bro, that booty was moving. I was like, damn, I wish Daryl was here. Oh, damn, it's time to go. Oh, yeah, we ain't got no more. Okay, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Do you mind telling me where the bread is? Well, yes, I sure can. I can tell you where everything in the store is. The cereal, aisle three. Ooh, the rice is on aisle seven. The candy's on aisle five. The condoms on aisle nine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but sir, to answer your question, the bread is on aisle four. You know how to get there? You just go out this way, make a left, make a right, make a U-turn, and it's gonna be right there. Matter of fact, you know what? Come on, get up my back. I'll take you myself. Yeah! Bro, it's signs on top of every aisle that tell you what's on it, bro. I'm not finna show you with nothing that cuz. Get out my face, bro. Use your eyes. Bro, it literally tell you right there. Let's use our eyes together. Aisle four. Peanut butter, condiments, bread. Why y'all keep asking me these stupid ass questions? Just look for it. It ain't that hard. I get off in 30 minutes, bro. Ain't nobody got time for these games, bro. Get my face. Thank you so much. You've been super helpful. Are you guys?
not allowed to take tips? No, sir, absolutely not. It's against company policy. And even if we could, I wouldn't take it. Because I don't do this for the money. I do this for the amazing customers like yourself. You said what? Hell yeah, I'll take tips. Matter of fact, if you ain't got cash, I take Venmo, I take Cash App, I take PayPal, I take food stamps. Hell, I take a coupon if it's free. The hell with this company, they got money. I'm the one struggling. Do I take tips? Absolutely goddamn loony. <laughs> Oh, man, that man crazy, Damn! Dad, what's wrong? I don't remember. You don't remember. <sighs> what was I just thinking about? Damn! Dad, what's the problem? I left my dog on wallet in the car. Oh. I mean, you want me to go get it? Hell no, nah, I don't know you like that. Listen, you stay here, I go get it. Last time you went and got my wallet, $20 came on missing. What? Dad, that's because you gave it to me to give to a homeless man on the corner. I did what, boy, when? Have you ever known me to give free money away to anybody? The devil is a lie. You stole it, and you know that. Hell, you had to be dreaming. Can I show them remember that? Well, you seem to be forgetting a lot of things lately, so. But what the hell you say? I'll drop kick your ass in here. Dad, I'm just saying. Well, just saying gonna get you just hurt. Now you wait here, I'm gonna go get my wallet. Wait, Dad, what if I get to the counter before you get back? I ain't bring no money with me. Well, look at the line. Ain't going nowhere. Well. And if you do get up there, just um give me um give me the classic chicken and waffles and and, and some orange juice. Not the spicy, because the spicy is gonna put me on the toilet. Give me the classic chicken and waffles and some orange juice. I'll be back in time to pay the man to do the hell I tell you to do. Alright. Tell my you ain't bring no money with you. You mean you ain't got no money with your broke ass. At least the line moving slow. That's a good thing. You know what? I just realized I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, I gotta go. My wife is having her baby. Oh man, I got a boo-boo like hell. You know what? I don't have a reason. I just feel like walking away. Excuse me, where the hell did you go? Uh next! <laughs> What's up, man? How can I help you? Yeah, uh, let me get two chicken and waffles and two orange juices. All right, whatever. Is that all? Uh, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, that'll be 1809. You said what? What did you say? I said your total is 1809. Oh, <laughs> okay, bet. <laughs> Uh, I mean, how's your day going? You know what I'm saying? Long. Oh. <laughs> yep. How about this weather? Right? It's hot. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 It's that time of year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, bro. Manager, I'm about to smack the hell out of this man with this register on guard, bro. What you mean? Bro, you doing all they got there and talking, bro. I was supposed to go on break 15 minutes ago, bro. The total is 1809. Do you or do you not have the money? See, the funny thing is, um, uh, I ain't got it. My daddy got it, but he left his wallet in the car, so he went to go get it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He should be coming, though. Uh, I gotta take a doo-doo and you hold up my line, bro. First of all, you ain't gotta tell me that. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then secondly, what you mean hold up your line? Ain't nobody even... Oh, damn. Hey, bro. Uh, you gonna have to step out of line, cuz. No! I mean, nah. See, my daddy crazy. And so, if I step out of line after he told me to wait here, he gonna have a whole fit in this restaurant. Oh, dang, for real? Yeah, I'm for real. I don't give a damn! Ain't nobody scared of your daddy. Come on, bro. Just, just give me like 10 seconds. I, I, I promise you he coming. And like, just I give me what? Your elder is speaking on to you. You see the wallet right here somewhere. Shut up, old man. Oh. Oh man! That's why you got a big head. What damn it? That's why Santa Claus ain't real. Santa Claus ain't real. The Easter Bunny ain't real. The Tooth Fairy ain't real. But you know who is real? The Boogeyman. And he gonna get your little ass tonight. So if I was you, I wouldn't fall asleep. Yeah, whatever. Wrong home, you little sissy. What the hell am I looking for?
Oh yeah. Where is my wallet? <laughs> Who about like 45 seconds? Break it out my line! I can hear him now. 
Elf? How the hell you get an elf? You know what? F is right, cause I'm about to put my foot up your ass! And Bobby, you keep your big ass out of that lunchroom. Lunch ain't till 12.30. You know what? I'ma make him proud. I'ma study really hard. Harder than I ever have before. And not only am I gonna get an A, I'ma get 100%. And I put that on God. I mean that. Hey, little boy, excuse me. Yes. I can't leave till you leave, so I'ma need you to remove yourself. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you watch, Mr. Johnson. I'ma make you proud. You watch. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'ma win, I'm win the lottery. And I'ma become a Badirian contrillionaire. Damn, my class. Come on, you, you ain't got an F on every test. These damn kids, boy. When I told the fed and all these damn what? what was that? Damn! Oh hell, I done hit another dog. Oh lord, that's the fourth one. I don't know why people can't keep their dogs in the damn leaf. Come on, bro. Keep why would you put a cone in the middle of the That's what I be talking about, man. People ain't got no sense, bro. Lucky ain't scratch my Oh my god! No, 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 it's ruined. It's ruined. It's ruined. What about me, Lord? What I do, Jesus? It's ruined. What am I supposed to do now? My life is over. Just take me, Jesus. Hey, man, what's going on? You good? Hell no, I ain't good. Hell, I got a question is that. What's going on? What's the problem? What's the problem? What the hell you mean? What the Look at my car. It's ruined. What's wrong with it? What do you mean you don't think you don't look at the got the Look at that! 
Oh man, look at that. I can't even drive it no more. My life is over. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? I am so sorry. Let me just go to my car and get you some tissue to wipe your tears. Oh, that's right. I ain't got one. Hey, what's going on, bro? You good? What? You blind or you just plain stupid? What the hell are you doing? Look at my car. Somebody left a freaking cone in the street and now my bumper got a scratch on it. Is he serious? I can't even drive it no more. Might well get rid of it. Hell, if you don't want it, give it to me. It took me four paychecks to buy this damn scooter. Somebody got a little scratch on the bumper. How you lost your damn mind? I would have shoved these damn handlebars up your- Man, damn! Man, that's some shit. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I know what to do. I'ma sue the city. See, they the ones left the cone in the damn street. So really, this they fault. <laughs> I'ma sue their ass. I'm finna be rich. <laughs> damn! What was it? You say what? Look around and tell me what you see. Look. Hey, mama, what's going on? I ain't talked to you about what, three years? Look here. Oh, uh, can you send me $2 for the bus? I think the bus. <laughs> hey! Hey, hold on, wait a minute! Hold on. You're ungrateful, bastard! Come on, start! Come on! Come on! Oh, not again! Man! What the hell you mean I got to pay a deductible to use my insurance? How about I deduct my foot up your ass? You know what, Jesus? You are right. It's an auto body shop right there. They can fix it. <laughs> Daryl, get over here! You want, you want me? Okay. You should be ashamed of yourself. You got one person over here struggling to start his car. You got another person that took him four paychecks just to ride on a scooter. And you got this poor slow man over here that can't even catch the bus. I should have blessed them with some speed, but I didn't. All these other people out here struggling, and you complaining about a scratch on your Tesla. You really think that really matters right now, son? I think you should just be grateful for what you have, regardless of a little scratch. It still drive, don't it? You could have it a lot worse than a lot of other people out here. Uh, oh God, so Jesus, I feel you, but see, the thing is, that's a Tesla, and you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure, as you know already, you know what I'm saying? Those cars are pretty expensive, and so you see a little paint job? The paint job is worth $4,000, and you might think, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that might be easy for me. As a matter of fact, that's probably easy for you, you know what I'm saying? Because you missed the big money. You feel me? You in heaven, you know what I'm saying? Golden Gates and the angels be singing and all that stuff. See, I ain't got money like that. I ain't got that kind of money. So $4,000 to me is a lot, you know what I'm saying? So, it more a little scratch because I don't get paid till next Friday. So, matter of fact, you don't believe me. You know, because you, you look at me like I'm crazy. So, let me show you the receipt so you believe me, because I think you probably. Jesus! Hey, don't blame me. I tried to tell you. You tried to what? Oh, Lord, I've been robbed. Well, that goes to show you. If you don't appreciate it, somebody else will. What, what Jesus, what am I supposed to do now? Well, it looked like that bus about to leave, so you better go catch it. You... Damn! Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Woo! Yeah! Hey, what's up, bro? Nothing, bro. You, it's my first day off in like two weeks, bro. So you know I gotta kick you with my boy. Are hey, you home? I'm finna come over there. Actually, bro. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of busy today. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a little business to take care of, so I might have to reschedule. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh. All right. Uh. Yeah, my bad, bro. I just, I just, I just had some stuff come up. You know? Nah, nah. I mean, you good? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got stuff to do. <laughs> you feel me? I, 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 you saying I just, um, I just chill by myself. You know what I'm saying? Independently solo, all alone, as one. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But no big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you saying you got stuff to do. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? So just get down. Just um, just hit me when you got some time. I right, bet, bro. I uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah. All right, peace. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I mean, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure it's nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? You probably, probably got a doctor appointment or something. I'm straight. Like, I don't need no friends, you know what I'm saying? Make me feel, you know what I'm saying? Make me feel whole. Like, I'm an independent young black male, you feel me? Like, I don't need nobody to make me feel good. You see what I'm saying? Like, I chill by myself. So, I grew up without a daddy. Like, I don't need protected. You feel me? Like, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take me a walk. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna walk by, you know, I'm gonna walk by his house, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure everything's straight, you know what I'm saying? Hey, do you trying to chill? Nah, I'm too busy. I got stuff to do today. I got business to handle. <laughs> got business to handle. Look like your car still in your driveway. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. By Derek Rose. Oh boy, you have you gonna have to come harder than that, boy. Dang, bro, how did you miss that, bro? You garbage, boy. What? Bro, whatever, bro. You, ain't, I'm letting you win, bro. I'm not even, I'm not even trying, bro. I'm letting you win. Come on, Ooh, man. Stephen Curry with the three, with the, th oh, with the three. You got the best team, bro. Come, I don't even want to hear that, bro. Come on, boy, get it together, boy. Come on, man, stop playing. Yeah. Hey, D, you better pay attention, bro. You finna take this L. What? Boy, I don't take L's from nobody. Boy, what you talking about? Boy, you mean you didn't take L's. Not till today. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, What's so funny? I want to laugh. <laughs> uh, I so... Who's this? Oh, uh, <laughs> this Marquise? Oh, that's Marquise, huh? Yeah, he just, uh, he just, he just, he just moved in next door. <laughs> What's up, man? So, <laughs> this the business you had to take care of? <laughs> uh, kinda. You know what I'm saying? I, I was just gonna, you know what I'm saying? Take the data. Show Marquise around, you know what I'm saying? Play a little bit of 2K, you know what I'm saying? Maybe get some food, oh. you know what I'm saying? Okay. We, 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 uh, where y'all going? Nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Probably, probably just grab some McDonald's or something. What? You know what I'm saying? McDonald's? I thought you said we was going to Waffle House. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I thought Waffle House was our spot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a restaurant, you know what I'm saying? So really, it's everybody's spot, you know what I'm saying? So like, it ain't really like a one-on-one -on -one exclusive type thing. You know, what I'm people go all the time, so you know what I'm saying? Like, well, you know, I, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know me about seven, eight years. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, I, I like Waffle House. You see what I'm saying? So, can I go? Or you know what I'm saying? Nah. Like, um, I mean, it's more like a one-on-one -on -one type thing. You know what I'm saying? Like to get to know each other. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Oh. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, you know what I'm saying. We we about to, we about to leave out now, right? You know what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, I I I um, I hit you later. Oh, oh you gonna hit me later? Uh, <laughs> he, he gonna hit me later. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Lord have mercy, got my booty on fire. What? What the hell going on? I don't wanna talk to nobody. I don't wanna talk to nobody. I don't wanna talk no more about it. I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk to nobody. I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it. You the one, but you lie. Like you lie to me. I just gotta take it away. What the hell? Oh.
Hold on. Round two. Round two. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Woo! Yo, this is dope. Bro, y'all really recreated the Krusty Krab. <sighs> Welcome to the Krusty Krab. How can I help you? Yo, bro, how I feel to work here? Welcome to the Krusty Krab. How can I help you? Which? Oh, I get it. I, I get I, I get it. You supposed to be like Squidward because Squidward always grumpy and he got an attitude all the time. <sighs> okay. Uh, anyway, <laughs> Dad, what you get? Hell, I'm getting frustrated. You? Why? What you mean? Cause I'm looking at this menu and it don't make no damn sense. I just want a hamburger, sir. Can I can I get a hamburger? I just want a damn burger. All right, so you just want one Krabby Patty. What, what the hell I want a frozen patty for? What? I said, what the hell am I gonna do with a frozen patty? What the hell, bro, what is you talking about? <laughs> no, 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 Dad, he said a Krabby Patty. I don't give a damn if it's a crab patty, a chicken patty, a human patty. God damn it, I want a cooked burger. Dad, 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 a Krabby Patty is a hamburger. That's just what they call it. They call a hamburger a Krabby Patty? Yes, Dad. What the hell kind of restaurant? That's stupid! Why not just call it a hamburger? You confusing me! Sir, I don't mess with the food. I just work the register. What well, damn it, let me register something to you. If my food come out frozen, best believe your ass is getting kicked. Is that all? No, that's not all! I want a cooked burger, I want some fries, and I want a Sprite. We ain't got no Sprite. What well, damn it, you better go find some. Yeah, and then let me get a Krabby Patty meal with a lemonade. Alright, this together or separate? It's this a together? Oh, thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. Appreciate what? You paying for my meal. Paying for your meal? Yeah, you said together, right? <laughs> Hell yeah, together as in you paying. You wanted to come here, not me. <laughs> I lost your damn mind. What you mean I'm paying? Exactly what the hell I said. You paying. Dad only got $20. You only got... Excuse me, sir. What's the total? $19.65. Well, would you look at that? You got just enough. Come on, man. What the hell you mean, come on, man? I done took care of your little stankin' ass over 20 years. I done put food in your belly. I done put clothes on your back. I done kept a roof over your head. I done wiped your ass with my bare hand, and you can't even buy me a damn sandwich. Come on, Dad. You causing a scene. <laughs> that ain't me to causing a scene. I ain't causing no damn... Sorry, am I causing a scene? Everybody, am I causing a scene? Hell yeah. Shut your ass up. Sir, am I causing a scene? 1965. That's what the hell I thought. Now get a man the money so we can go. <sighs> Talking about I'm causing the scene. Have you seen your mind? Cause obviously you done lost it. Here you go, man. All right, here's your change, here's your receipt. And we'll call you when it's ready. Appreciate it, man. Damn, kids. And you remember what I told you. If my food come out frozen, I'm gonna freeze my size 11 steel toe boot in the crevice of your ass. Can't stand these people. Next! A few moments later. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Son, don't lie to me now. You know, you know if there's ever anything wrong, we can sit here and we can discuss it like mature adults. And you're not gonna yell? No, Dara, I won't yell. Okay, well, I mean, I, I feel like you embarrassed me in there. Embarrassed you? What the hell you mean I embarrassed you? Dad, you just said you weren't gonna yell. I'm not yelling. That's just how I talk when I get frustrated. Well, let me tell you something. You got some damn nerve to sit here, look me in my face, and tell me that I embarrassed you. You embarrass me! I am the reason for your existence. You are a specimen of my hard work. I raised you from the one and little sissy baby <laughs> that you was, and now you can't even buy me, your one and only, loving dear father, a damn hamburger. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Treat me like that in public. Dad, that was my last $20. And it's a good ass $20, too. What was that? You say you want to walk home? What? That ain't even say nothing. Anybody blowing that kind of breath must mean they frustrated. And if you're frustrated, that means you're paying bills. And if you're paying bills, that must mean you're grown. And if you're grown, that means you can walk your grown ass to the house. What you, Dad, the house is 15 minutes from here. By car, yes it is. 
By foot, I believe it's about an hour and a half. Dad, are you serious? Dad, you are not gonna make me walk home from here. So and I see you at the house. Man, come on, man. Wait, son. Thank you for the sandwich. Man. <laughs> Better close my damn door. <laughs> Blowing the damn breath for me. Look at him bust his kneecaps and make his ass crawl home. Damn, kid. More moments later. Oh, you ain't say- Oh, okay, okay. I was just making sure. Now go in there and change your clothes. You look rough. And you smell like outside. All right. And when you finish, come out this damn sweat off my floor. And take the trash out. And water the plants. And wash the clothes. And cook dinner. And then wash the dishes. How about you get your lazy ass up and do it? What the hell you say? I said the love of Jesus gonna get me through it. That better be what you said. Two hours later. <sighs> hey, D. What's up, man? What's good, bro? Hell, nothing. Just chilly, really. You good? I don't know, bro. Pop just getting on my nerves, man. Dang, what happened? It's a long story, bro. But basically, he embarrassed me down at the new Krusty Krab down the street. Then on top of that, he made me walk home across the highway. And I got hit by a car. Oh, damn, that was you? What the hell? Hey, goddamn, my bad. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be more careful crossing six lanes of traffic. Man, whatever, bro. It don't even matter, man. I mean, you were... You at least try to talk to him? For what? He ain't gonna do no good. He ain't gonna listen to me. Mmm. Okay. Okay. D, I'm gonna say this, bro. Because you my friend. And I care about you. I think the problem is, bro. I think... You gotta stop being a little bitch. What? You too soft. The reason he talked to you like he do, and the reason he make you do certain things, is because you don't ever check, bro. You don't never check, bro. You need to let him know. I ain't no little kid no more. I ain't no little baby no more, bro. And he ain't been be doing you like he been doing you. Bro, have you not met my daddy? Who you know can check him? You can, D. You can check him, bro, because you his son, bro. And you know him better than everybody. And so what you gonna have to do is meet him on his level and let him know you ain't gonna tolerate no more disrespect. And if it don't stop on God, you gonna have to put hands on his old ass. Bro, you crazy as hell. No, I ain't about to do that, man. You, you wanna have a good relationship with your daddy, don't you? I mean, yeah, I do, but... You wanna be 45 years old still getting whoopings from your daddy? <sighs> no. Exactly, bro. So stop being a sissy and go do something. All right, okay. I go talk to him. No, bro, you ain't going to just talk to him, bro. You going to set him straight. All right, bro. You want me to come with you? No, bro. I I got it, bro. I got it. I got it. All right. If you need me, if you need me, just holler. I got there on bop bop. Knock them damn bop focus off his face. Now maybe my ears is deceiving me, but it sounds like a whole lot of goddamn bass just came out your chest just now. That's right. Cause I'm a man. Now what you gonna do is you gonna shut up and you gonna listen to me, old man. I'm tired of you disrespecting me. I'm grown. I ain't no little kid no more. And you gonna treat me like a man on guard. 
or I'm gonna have to lay hands on you. Do you feel me, Hester? Or do I need to repeat myself to you? No! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Who the hell you think you're talking to? Now maybe my ears is deceiving me, but it sounds like a whole lot of goddamn bass just came out your chest just now. Uh, Dad, can I talk to you real quick? About what? Can I sit down? Yeah, come on. Now what you want to talk about? I don't mean this in like a disrespectful way or anything like that, but like I feel like sometimes you can be so unnecessarily tough on me when I make mistakes or when I say the wrong things or do the wrong things. And I feel like it's not fair. I don't try to make you upset on purpose, but when I do, you do things like yell at me or slap me. And I understand you want me to be a man, but I feel like eventually it's gonna damage our relationship to where I don't even wanna talk to you anymore because of some of the things you put me through. And I don't want it to be like that, you know what I mean? Son, I understand. Okay, what you got to realize is I grew up in a different time when people weren't so sensitive and whippings weren't looked at as child abuse. It was looked at as strictly discipline. Nothing more, nothing less. That is what it is. Now, I guess I could admit, you know, that some of my methods are, you know, kind of old school. And, you know, I, if I'm being honest, I guess I can be a, a little tough sometimes. A little tough? Dad, you made me walk an hour on the highway to get back to the house. Oh, hell, boy, that ain't nothing. I used to walk two days just to get to school. What? My point is, son, the last thing I want is for our relationship to be damaged because of my parenting skills, okay? So from now on, I try my best to be more understanding and I try my best not to be so angry? No. Aggressive? No. Violent? No, boy, damn! I try my best not to be so tough, okay? All right. Now understand, that don't mean I'm not gonna be your daddy now. I don't give a damn you 24, 54, 104. I will not hesitate to whoop your ass. You understand? Yeah, dad, I understand. All right. Thanks, dad. Son, thank you for being honest with me. You have my word. That from this day forward, I'm gonna do better. Yup. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, it. Hell yeah. as a matter of fact. Yeah, I'm you better do better. Yo, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, D. You better set his old ass straight. Excuse me? You excused. You heard what we said. Ain't gonna be no more disrespect. Ain't gonna be no more yelling. Ain't gonna be no more hit. Next time I come over here and Daryl crying, we gonna take turns rocking your damn jaw. Ain't that right, D? Uh. See, I didn't. He. No, he. See, D scared of you, but I ain't scared of you, bro. I'm from the hood, bro. Oh, is that right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> better, better sit down. <laughs> Why, goddamn, buckle your ass like a seatbelt. Bro, on God, bro. I'm a count to three, bro. And if your ass ain't in that cushion, we're gonna have a problem, bro. One, two, you must have looked at me, man. Yo, Dad, what was that No. What the hell? Uh, uh, what the hell? How the hell he? Wait a minute. Hell, hell. Who you think you big and bad, huh? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. No, no!